The MSRA Back to the 50s Car Show is the country's largest pre-1964 car show in the, in the entire country. You know, if you're into car shows, this is the one you really gotta attend. This is a great venue. This is a 47th annual one that we've had here at the fairgrounds. And we average usually around 12,000 cars. Our attendance, depending on the weather, can be anywhere 75 to 100,000 people over the three day weekend. And it's an event for families and friends and shopping and fellowship and more shopping and cars and food <laughs> and more cars. And it's kind of like, I guess the way to put it is, this is a state fair for cars. It really is, it's incredible. It's really a great event. You know, I know my kids have enjoyed it. My, my son prides himself on attending every year since he was in the womb. Uh, to, you know, and still makes his way here today. In fact, I know he was uh, in school out in Wyotech and he made a special trip from Wyoming just so he wouldn't break his streak of attending the event. If you're just into really looking at really nice cars, there's you can't possibly see them all in a weekend. You know, you just, it's just the fact that they move around and, you know, it's so much area to cover. But the nice thing about this venue I really like, it's like you're walking in a, you're like walking in a small town, you know? It's like all tree-lined streets, there's plenty of shade, there's, you know, having been to other events across the country where you end up in a parking lot full of tar, this event really has that sort of small town feel, yet there's 12,000 cars here. It does, and, and when you're mentioning, like you said, you come to this event because there's 12,000 cars, this beautiful street ride is parked here today. Well, that doesn't mean it's gonna be parked here if he's here tomorrow, because they, if a space is open, they park there. Hey, turn your headlights on. The majority of these cars are safety inspected, which means they have a free inspection just to check with an extra set of eyes because most of these cars are built, many of them, in somebody's garage. They are shows or cars that have been built to that particular owner's taste. So there's just a lot that's happening and the safety inspection is really a big one. So Linda, there's 12,000 cars here and what I've noticed is, you know, the passion seems universal, whether you're driving a, uh, a patina rat rod or you're driving a show-stopping full modded, modded street rod, the passion remains the same. When this show went forward, the excitement and the enthusiasm for having the show to bring their cars was unbelievable. And this morning when those gates opened, I decided to do a Facebook Live, and I'm doing this live, and the cars are coming through and I literally started crying in chills because I saw the smiles on their face. They're proud of their cars. It can be a, a survivor. It can be a, a $300,000 car. Every car is what that person loves and what that person has designed and they wanted to bring it here and they wanted to celebrate it and have their families and just be part of this whole thing. So everyone has a personal passion, but we all understand it. So it's, it's like a community. Oh. Thank you, Linda. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you taking time with us today, and it's a great event, and we anticipate on being back for many more years. Oh, good. Too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hope to see you next year.